In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a digital clock. This will be my 24 hours base clock. This will be the seconds and this will be my date and this will be my day of the week. Hello, welcome back to BS Developers. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a digital clock, create a new project and choose on your Windows Forms app. Make it see hashtag. I'll rename it as time. Click on your form and resize it. I'll change its form border style to none. Change the for change the background color to black. I will now create four labels from the toolbox. I'll copy and paste four labels. I'll select label one, and this will be our time label. Rename is as LBL time. Change the font. In, I have included DS Digital font. You can download it from my description. But close Visual Studio and then install and then start Visual Studio. I include the font as DS Digital and bold and I'll change the size to 72. I change the text. Now change the color to yellow. Now click on your second label. This label will be our seconds. Change the font. I'll resize it as twenty eight. Change its color to yellow. Take your third label. This label will be our date label. I'll change the color and the font. I'll resize it as 36. Change its text as June. Twenty-six. Take your fourth label. This label will be our date of the week. Change its font. I rename it as I'll rename it as LBL date. Change its text to Sunday. Take your second label and I'll rename it as LBL seconds. I'll rename the third label as LBL day.
So now I will add the timer for our form. Go to the toolbox and search timer. Click on the timer for its properties and I'll change the interval for 1000 seconds. Now drag uh, menu strip from the toolbox. Rename its first text box as restart. The second text box as close. Now double click on your time event to open the code. I'll first write the code for our time. Now I'll write the code for my seconds label. I'll now write the code for the date label. Now I'll write the code for the second, second date label. Now I'll explain what's happening in this code. These are my four labels and I am using the date and time class. It's included in the .NET framework. You don't have to write a co different code for it. I'm using the date and time class to get the time right now and converting it to string, string format and then formatting it in a way so I can see, display it. Now go to your form and click on your form and, and double click it. In this code I will start the timer. Go to your form 1 and click on the context menu strip and double click on the restart button. In this I will restart my project as if the time won't work. Anyone can restart it and get the correct time. Go to your form 1 and double click on the close. I will write this code to close our application.
now I will start my application to see if it's working. I click on my restart button so it, it will restart and then click on the close. I will need to adjust this to the middle. I'll start it again so now you have made your first digital clock thank you for watching this video if you like this subscribe to our channel and like our video and i'll see you in our next video thank you